Hey everyone, this is Brian Hatch, founder of Audit Big, and want to jump into another Frequently Asked Questions session here today regarding some of the things that I get often when I tell people what I do and what we do as a team. Now, business owners are looking for ways to solve problems. Now, because I do automation, we do marketing, marketing automation specifically, there's a lot that you can do. And so people ask, like, well, should I get this software? And that's what I want to address today. You see, in that context of should I get this software, you need to think of a few things. It really depends on what phase of your business are you in. Are you in the startup phase? Are you in things are going well? Or are you going in a massive growth phase, right? That's, the, the, that's different phases and really there's responses a little bit differently in each of those categories. But I'll address as if you're either in the startup phase or things are going well. I'm not saying that they're you know, in super growth phase, there's a little different and I'll, and I'll tell you the difference between those, those sections here. But if you are starting up, you're, you're a starter mover shaker and you're moving along, um, the very first thing you need to ask yourself, the very first question you ask yourself when you're saying, well, should I get this software is, does it take care of your baseline blocking and tackling? Now, with a football reference here, I'm talking about like the most important things in your business does it help you accomplish. If it helps you sell, if it helps save you time, it helps you segment your customers, right? Prevent future mistakes. Those are some of the baseline questions you should be able to add, answer very quickly. And if th those are affirmative that yes, this software is going to help those baseline things, then great. That is something to look through, okay? So that at least meets the first cut of your software. Now, if you are in a smooth phase, that's still a very similar question. Is this new software you're gonna bring into your business and use to be able to automate or make something better, potentially, in your business? Does it actually solve one of your big, most important things in your business? Sales being primary. If, if, it, if it solves sales, then that matters most. And then from there, there's other things that might be more applicable to your business considering the phase you're in or the thing that you're working on, the project that you're trying to accomplish, right? But that's the, 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 the key is to know, does it, make sh does it give you more money? Does it save you time? Or does it help you prevent errors in the future? Those three things are probably the most important questions to ask yourself. If it meets that cut in any phase of business, then we go to the next level cut, okay? Is this software time tested and proven? Okay, there are five, over 5,000 software that you can buy and purchase for your business, whether it's a big one or a plug-in or a little thing, and not all of them are worth your time and energy. They're just not. And so the thing you gotta think about is, is it proven and time tested? You know, I, I see all the time a software that says, hey, look, we can do this little thing. And I'm like, okay, that, like I'm not saying they don't have a business model. I'm not saying that people wouldn't want that. I'm saying that depending on the phase of the business that we're in, whether it's for my client or for my own business, I want to look and see, okay, does, does it actually have time to proof that it makes a difference? Because if it's something that's kind of like new and fun, but I don't know how much it's going to raise my sales or how much it's actually going to save me in time or prevent future mistakes, then for me it's like, okay, what, what does it really do? Right? It, might, it might be something I have to put on the back burner and look at, at at a future point in time. Now, if it actually does those things and is proven and time tested and has some testimonials and says, yes, we do this, you always want to look and see like, what, who is supporting it? That's the next thing. That's the next question to ask. Is like, who and what team is supporting this? Okay? There are softwares out there that are built and it's like a little plug-in and then it's never looked at again. Okay? Now, I know that sounds crazy, but there are businesses even now today in this day and age that you can purchase that it was built and no one's looking at it anymore. Like whatever tech it was built, it was done and here you go, you can use it, but it's not being worked on in the background. Okay, that for me throws up a red flag most of the time. I've still purchased software in, in specific cases where I knew they didn't have a backend team supporting that software. Um, because I needed it for a short-term thing, right? But you want to ask that question. Do they have a team supporting it so that if something breaks or something doesn't work or something goes wrong, that you're, you can trust that that software is going to make it right? Um, not, and, and hear, hear me clearly, no software is perfect. There's not a single software in the history that has ever been invented in the world that is perfect, that does everything that ever you could ever need done. It doesn't. Now, it might do really well in that niche or might do well over these three categories, but it's not going to solve everything you could ever dream up, is what I'm trying to say. Um, 
and there's some features of every software. There's software that I love, that I would use to the day I die, that still have three or five things that I really am bothered about inside of that software. So just realize you're gonna have some problems there. But again, going back to it, do, you have a, do they have a tech team that's actually um, supporting the software in the background? Because that matters when it's gonna be a long-term part of your business. If it's not a long-term part of your business, then maybe you can say, oh, I need this for a short-term gain, right? That's the next thing that you need to be able to consider. Now, when you think about those factors in and of themselves, you should see like pretty clearly, is this software useful for me? Is it, is it going to help me, right? But then I want to talk, talk about super growth phase, right? So if, you have, if you're a starter or things are going smoothly, but you know, you're, you're in that phase, those two phases, whether you've made a million dollars or not, it's a matter of like where you are. In the super growth phase, like you are growing steadily, heavily, that's where you can look at some of these other tools and is this software something that I need that you can actually bring on other little pieces of software that make a huge difference. For example, there is one little tiny, tiny software that I will plug into people's businesses when they're at that growth phase. It's not like it's an extremely expensive software, but it doesn't necessarily move the needle for someone that has 100 page hits on the landing page. If you have thousands and tens of thousands, and you're, then I'm gonna do a few things differently. There's a few pieces of software that would, that would be useful to you. And that's where you gotta think of, what is the increase in sales or time saved or headache um, uh, mitigated, right? That still is based on questions, even for the growth phase, that this new software will, will do. And you gotta realize, if you're in super growth phase and something increased your profits by 2%, usually it's worth it, unless you have to pay 2% to get it, right? But typically you don't. So it's a matter of like realizing what should, what's the realistic look and expectation of what this software could do to bring in, bring in more sales, save me more time, or, or mitigate some stress that I have. Then if that makes sense, if those numbers make sense, then get it. Like almost, almost every time I say get it. Now, if you do those things and you see your sales raise and, 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 and things are working out really well, then you've got a great piece of software. But that's the most important things to look through when you're thinking about what should I get, when should I get, how should I get this piece of software. And realize that a software platform that is a monthly ongoing business typically is going to have ongoing support. So it's usually better um, as far as better for you quality wise. But there might be instances where a one-time payment for a software is useful for your business. But it's funny, I probably have 10 different software that I've purchased in that uh, manner that was like, hey, one-time only sale, you can buy it for this one-time price, and then the amount of times that I've used it after that point is like zero or one or two times max. So just know what you're getting into, realize the things that matter, and then do an audit occasionally and say like, I don't need this software anymore, so get rid of it. But those are some of the basic tips that I wanna be able to show you that would make a huge difference if I were sitting on your team, if I was your right-hand person telling you what, or what you should or shouldn't do with a software uh, platform. That's what I would have you look through. Those are the questions I go through and I hope that served you. This is just one small way to automate big.